party people! In this video we will be going through my craft supplies. So the reason for this is at the end of the month I will be taking part in a walking market. Now this is where people all over a town set out stalls outside their house and then a map is created of all the stalls and people can go around and visit them. Now some people use this as a chance to get rid of like secondhand items like a proper garage sale and then some people use it to sell things from their business. Now the town that this is taking place in is where my parents live so I will be taking over their driveway with various things. I like to have a section for my paintings, I also have a section to sell my craft goods, the things I usually sell at craft fairs, and then this year I was thinking I could have a small table of craft supplies, so it's stuff that I just don't really use anymore, um, just try and sell them off cheap to make a bit of extra money. So that's what we're doing today, we're going to go through all of my craft supplies and see if there's anything I want to part with. Now that might be the tricky bit, because I am a bit of a craft supply hoarder, but I do like money. So I think it might be that if stuff doesn't sell, I'm just going to put it back into my stash. So if you're into videos where you get to be a bit nosy and see what people have, this is for you. Let's get started. But first, do you like my jazzy trousers? Charity shop, £3, kids section. I've got a tray to collect the things that I might want to get rid of. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. So all of these are paint, so I don't think I'm going to want to get rid of any of that. Let's just... Okay, in this bottom box I have a lot of, is it called oil cloth? So it's like fabric that's shiny on one side, so you might have it as like a wipe down tablecloth, that kind of thing. So I've got lots of, lots of bits of this, some little ones, but quite a lot of big ones. I used to make like little like toiletries pouches with these, um, which I just don't anymore. But do I want to get rid of it? I think part of my thought process is if it's not easy to replace then I don't want to get rid of it and I never know when I am going to want to use it because I know I've said in videos before I'll be using something and say like oh I've had this in my sash for like 10 years so I do eventually use some of this stuff I think I'm going to hold on to this for now also I don't think it'd be easy to sell like would I make a mixed bundle or would I sell it by the piece and then what price would I do that so I think we'll leave these Okay, I think there's stuff in here that I might want to get rid of. So this is my drawers of like little wooden things. So let's have a look. Okay, so these, I think these were given to me by someone who again was just getting rid of them. So they're like wooden keys. I haven't used them. Don't think I will. Let's put them in the tray. And I've also got these ones. So like flowers and butterflies. I do really like these, but again, I've had them for ages and still haven't done anything with them. So I think this will definitely be one that if it doesn't sell I'll just put them back. Alright, it's going in the tray. Okay, I have this massive bag of like little bits of wood like matchsticks. So I'm wondering with some of my stuff where I have like a lot of it, whether I could make little bags of them and sell them off. Because these are useful but I just don't need the whole bag of them. So I'll put them in the tray. Okay, this box, so this is from the works, I had thoughts of decorating it, but I don't really need it. We can sell that one. Okay, that's all stuff that I want. Hmm. Now I have these big, so I've got three of them, they're MDF circles, and they just seem really useful, but I haven't found a use for them yet. Do I sell those? Yeah, we can put them out. We'll put them out. So that's three of them. Okay, here's something cool which I will not be selling, but I just thought I'd show you. It is a Project Runway silkscreen kit. And I have used this, not for a very long time, but I have used it. And I feel like they definitely don't make this anymore, so there's no way I'm getting rid of this. So this is a box of notebooks. I definitely don't need all of, so let's have a look. I've got these little line notebooks that I bought. I think I was planning to like put new covers on or something and never did, so those can go in the tray. A nice little sketchbook thing. That's going in the tray. Some of these sketchbooks actually have work in. Let's have a look. And 
I. I mean, that's still good, I'll keep that. No, these are all like books. This one, right, who was around on the crafty internet when, like, Naughty Secretary Club was a thing? Yeah, Jennifer Perkins and all those kind of crafty gals. What a throwback. What is the year on this? 2010. That doesn't even feel that long ago, but... 14 years ago. The crafty world has changed. Anyway, I digress. Right, what's next? So these are all things I use. Beads. Do I make like little packets of beads to sell? Because again, I don't need all of these. Might do that. If I can find like the right bags or something, maybe I'll do that. All right, let's move on to the next section. Okay, so up here is mostly my like craft fair stock, so we don't need to look through that, but this basket has some other things in. Oh, that's heavy. So it's a lot of like card making stuff mainly, which I do use from time to time, but let's see if there's some that I'm definitely not going to use. I feel like I don't use the ones with the windows much, but I might if it's like for my son, if I want to put like one of his pictures in, so maybe I hold on to them. Okay, so here's a whole pack of ones with windows. Let's put those in the tray because like it'll be easier to sell when they're in a pack. We'll put those in the tray. Oh, I have two more of the packs. Red ones this time. Let's put those in the tray. Okay, we are further up the shelf. Um, so this is mostly tech stuff that I probably need. I've got some old cameras. Look at this one, guys. So these are film cameras. This one looks like a juice box. And then that's how you... Take the picture, you press the straw, how cool is that? I used to use that quite a lot. This was the one I used all the time, so this one would come with me whenever I was hanging out with friends. Um, yeah, I used this one a lot. And I bought this one in a charity shop, so it's a film camera that can go underwater. And I've never used it, and I've never thought about using it, so... This one can probably just go back to the charity shop. I'm going to take this out now, otherwise I'll forget. This, I'm not getting rid of this. So this is a computer mouse that heats up. Revolutionary, guys. Uh, it's called a hot mouse. It turns on with this button. You just put it in USB. So when I was working, my tiny little office would get very cold in the winter. So I had a heated mouse. There you go, if anyone has that same problem and didn't know this existed, there you go, hot mouse. Right, these boxes might be worth looking at. Okay. Now I have a lot of little flower pots, because I was going to use them for something and then never did. I don't think I will, so... So I don't have one unwrapped, but there's like a few of them in there, and I've got two of these packs. So maybe I'll put them in the tray. I'm gonna need a bigger tray. Um, I also have these, again, from the works. So I have little buckets, I have a pink one, and a blue one. Again, I think if it's still in the packet, then that is a sign that I'm probably not gonna use it. But again, if it comes back in the stash, I'm not gonna be mad about it. So, putting them in the tray. So that was good, let's try the next one. Okay, so this is like sponges and balls. So like polystyrene balls and then ball balls, ping pong balls. Yeah, this is 
is all stuff that I feel like I will use, like the sponges especially, they'll be good for like crafts with my son. Baubles I'm always going to use, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, we'll keep all that stuff. Well, the knitter mill is not going anywhere. I mean, this is also just a good exercise to like remind myself of what I have. Um, so these were some things that I bought, again, from the works. So they had a sale on like loads of their Christmas stuff. I'm guessing it was earlier in the year. Um, and everything was like half off. So I bought a few of these polystyrene cones because I use them to make my felt gnomes. So I got those. I bought these. I just thought they were fun. I still haven't used them for anything yet, but I've got them. And I bought the fill your own baubles as well. Those look useful. Um, and a few other things that aren't in here. Oh, so I have, right, this mini money. And let me put this box down. Okay, so this I bought from the Museum of Modern Art, the MoMA, in New York when I went with college, which you would have seen about in my travel journal video. Um, so that would have been 2009. And I have held on to it all this time. So the idea is, so it's this guy, and you're meant to like decorate it yourself. Like if you go online, you see loads of people's uh, examples of this. But I just haven't been able to commit to an idea. So I've only got one, I don't want to mess it up. Um, so it stays in the box for, what, 15 years? Yeah, so it's been in the box for 15 years. <laughs> Maybe I should commit. Guys, give me an idea of what, of how I can decorate this guy. He also comes with an axe. Right, sorry guy, you're, you're going back in the box for now. But I'm not getting rid of that. That's a memory. Okay, so this basket is mostly like adhesive things. We've got spare masking tape, glue dots, glue, stuff like that. I'm not getting rid of that. I use all that stuff. So that's fine. What have we got in here? So this is chalks and pencils. Are there any pencils I don't need because I feel like this is a lot for how much drawing I actually do, which is not a lot. Again, we've got some still in the packet here, so I probably don't need these. Ooh, metallic pencils. And a graphite pencil set. I think this is the only one I have at this, so I'll hold on to these. And then some chalks. I have been using the chalks. I use them with my son, so we have... Um, I don't know if you've seen like the big tough trays, the big like black trays um, and outside so we'll draw stuff on the tray and then he has to spray water on it to wash it off. Uh, he likes to pretend he's a fireman so we draw flames with it uh, and he washes them all off so that's a fun little activity if any of you are parents of young kids. Put that in the drawer. Right, what have we got here? Um, I've got loads of these like little beady strings and I do occasionally use these. And I don't think it'd be easy to replace, so they ain't going anywhere. This one is tiny, tiny beads. Yep, I use those kind of regularly, so we'll keep those. We've got magnets, always useful. We've got the one I bought in Nashville. I need to put that up somewhere. Gift ribbon, useful. This one is shells. You can sell shells. You can sell shells. I think I'll hold on to those. Because I did use these um, at some point this year because my husband was doing an activity with his class about making fossils and they used the shells. So yes, I do use the shells. For anyone asking, I have used them. String, useful. Foam shapes, useful. Pom-poms, I would never get rid of a pom-pom. Those are staying. in this one. I have lots of these like little charms and I have used some of them but I feel like the ones that are left are the ones that I like don't like so much so maybe I'll put them in the tray. 
Okay, again, pom-poms, not going anywhere. So in here, I have a few different things. I think this level might be where we find things to get rid of. Um, so I have... Um, so I have my hair clips. Uh, I do use these, I've only got three left. So, yep, yeah, holding on to those. I have quite a lot of these clips, which I do use sometimes, but I probably don't use this many of. So that might be where I take a few out and see if those sell. I have a lot of these little, like, pin blanks. Because so I have thoughts of, like, making my own pin badges, and I never have. So again, I might... I mean, I've got, I don't know if you can see, I've got this many here. So I might bag up some of those, see if we can get rid of those. I'll leave that out. Right, what else? Now this one is my box of real random stuff. We have a section of completely dried up elastic bands. So that's going straight in the bin. I think I have various things from making IKEA furniture. I have my, don't get jealous guys, Blue Peter badge, Blue Peter competition winner's badge. I actually do have the regular one as well, which might turn up in here. I have some plectrums. I have a plectrum with James Master's signature printed on it, printed on it, not written on it. Um, so that's Spike from Buffy. Just, I feel like this just gives you a bit more insight into who I am. We have... The award I won for a dance, what well, was the competition? Test? Assessment? I don't know, but I won it in like disco dancing when I was like eight. And for some reason, I keep that in here. Um, I have some foreign currency. I have this thing that I made when I was Again, probably eight. How have I brought these things to so many different houses? I mean, this would have been from when I lived at my parents' house. Why have I brought these to so many different places? I have a Millennium coin. This one is Shakespeare. For the mems. I think that's why, guys. For the mems. Nothing else interesting in there. Where is this even from? A forant? Anyone recognise this? I don't think I've even been to the country that this is from. How did it get here? Good question. Anyway. Alright, back on the ground. So, in here is a lot of, like, Fancy trim and ribbon and fake flowers, and I kind of don't want to open it because it's just gonna explode. So let's forget about that one. This one is feathers. I mean, I don't remember the last time I needed feathers. Now I've got some in the packet, so maybe I put the one in the packet in the tray. And we'll keep the loose ones. Right, this one is buttons. Of course, because everyone has to have a button box. I'm thinking, again, maybe I make like little bags of buttons. Because again, who needs this many buttons? Yeah, that might be something that I do. Okay, so this is stickers, which I'm using quite a lot at the moment because my son loves stickers. But are there any that I want to get rid of? Yeah, I feel like I might use those ones. But these kind of like old fashioned, I've got like these wedding ones. I can't see myself using those. I have so many stickers. I have these little packets of stickers that were left over from my son's birthday. Um, we put them in the party bags. Um, 
maybe some of these vehicles i'll probably use those numbers useful fruit fruit with crazy faces probably don't need to hold on to those animals they're kind of weird looking animals hearts i have loads of these emoji stickers which i'm definitely holding on to because those are fun guys groovy chick stickers yes i mean you've got to keep these just for nostalgia also they all say lisa on them so they're only going to appeal to a certain kind of person called Lisa. These are cute but I have never used them and they're still in the packet so those will be easy to sell. Guys who read the sleepover club? Because I got stickers. Okay I got to the bottom. Whew. That's a lot of stickers. Okay Right, wire that's about to poke me in the eye. Yes, we need that. Right, so I have this stuff. Okay, so it's the like sequin blank stuff. I have a gold one and I have a blue one. And I feel like I don't need both. I probably don't need either of them, but I feel like I should keep one of them. Maybe I'll keep the gold one. I'll put the blue one there. Guys, let me know if you have ever used this and what you used it for. I'd be very interested to know. And then under there I have lots of sequins. And I don't think there's any here that I'm going to want to get rid of. Do I need all of these shiny stars? They're like rose gold. Probably don't need those. I have a few of these sequins and they're like different animals so i can see dinosaurs cats birds that is a random collection i don't need them guys i'm very impressed with myself on how much i'm actually putting in the tray i thought i'd want to hold on to more stuff so go me yeah that's another one of the animals and another one there is another one. Maybe I'll hold on to one of them. Because you never know when you're going to need a sequin dinosaur. Okay, we'll keep the rest of those. Okay, now we are at real floor level. So I've got tiny... Tiny jars of glitter, which I will of course be keeping. I have this pack of little mirror pieces. I don't even know if I've ever used these but I know I've had these for like a very long time. Maybe I should put these in the tray because they can always come back again. Right. I think this is mostly glitter so I don't really want to get... Mm. Actually these two are the same. Are these the exact same colour? Yes. I don't need two of the same. Okay I'll get rid of one of those. Those are all glitters, pretty sure I use those, so we will keep those. Right, this is my sewing box, but I keep all my sewing stuff elsewhere, so this has just become a box to collect random things in. Let's have a look. Cheap needles that are kind of not sharp enough. So guys, if you see a really big pack of cheap needles and you're tempted, don't buy them. Because they're not sharp enough. So I have this wooden E and no one in my family is E. So maybe I should let this go to someone who is an E. I also have an L and I am an L, but what do I need this for? Maybe we'll let that go. Ooh, some little plastic bags. These will be useful, like I can fill this with beads or with buttons and sell them that way. And there's quite a few there. Jackpot. A spanner, because you never know. We have an R, again, no R, so that's going. I mean, this needs a proper sort out, but that's not what we're doing here. We're not sorting out, we are just looking if there's anything that we can sell. Okay. Giant pom-pom, 
keeping that, obviously. Oh, my power shells. Shells? Stones? That I think my mum brought me back from New Zealand. And I have done stuff with these. I should make more stuff because these are really pretty. Oh, another big one. Oh, that's a key ring. Where did I get that from? Probably don't need that. And the fact it's already packaged up, it's going in the tray. A wooden clock. Keep it that, obviously. A polystyrene ball. Well, we know there's somewhere else where this goes. Tiny pins. And I needed some of these recently. When was it? Was it when I was making my tiny hanging basket? Yes. And I couldn't... I had like a few left, but this is full of them. See? And it is in a box, which I think had favours from a wedding in. And it was not any wedding recently. Okay, that's fine. We can cover that up for another day. Alright, making good progress, guys. Well done, us. Okay, so we are at the bottom of the wardrobe that I have in my craft room. This is where I store all of my felt. And I will not be selling any of my felt. How dare you suggest that? Right, but down here is where we might find things. So I have this bag. I got given this bag of like the little um, like gift bags. And I just don't think I need them. Or at least not this many. So we'll see if we can sell some. But again, it's no biggie if they come back. Um, I have some of these boxes which I got given. And they make... A little square box like this and I haven't had a need for them so maybe I could try and sell some but again it doesn't matter if they come back let's leave five oh, what's that four that's fine that's fine these trays might have stuff right this one is pencils so I need those. Oh, what have we got? So a lot of this is becoming stuff for my son. So we will hold on to these. I have a pack of bottle caps. I don't need those. Oh, I got some more letters. I've got an A and an L. Which actually is me and my husband, but I don't need these. I feel like maybe I had another A and L and I used them for our wedding. Or maybe I was going to use these. I'm not going to use them now. Going on the tray, which is now a pile. I have a collection of shiny stones in a sprinkles container. Do I need these? Maybe. I have two of them. Where did I even get these from? I might sort those out. Got my Sculpey. Um, most of this is like model making stuff. I also have this box of leather scraps. They're like sample scraps. Do you think people would want to buy these? Because again, I've had these for a long time. I have done some stuff with it, but if people want to buy them, maybe I make a little bag of these. Okay, I think this is the last place to look um, that I might have stuff. Maybe. <laughs> I just noticed another cupboard that might have stuff in. Right, we'll see. Let's start here. So I have, so that's my sewing machine. Obviously that's not going anywhere. So up here I have a bunch of pens. I have a bunch of Sharpies. I feel like you always need Sharpies. Although... Do I need this many Sharpies? Maybe I'll get rid of this pack. Because it's still in the pack. So, what's at the back? Pencil case. Colour pencils. 
and my set of colour pencils. We're keeping those. Um, another small pencil case. What's going to be in this one? <laughs> Various things. We have a giant permanent marker. We have some pencils with funny rubbers on. Now these have never been used. I could sell these as a set. It's going in the tray. I have a bell from Beauty and the Beast torch, like pen torch, which obviously does not work because the batteries are long gone. I'm keeping that, obviously. We have another one of these. What's in this one? Biros. Four biros. Do they work? Anyone got some paper? Okay, well that's four biros. They shouldn't be hidden in the cupboard. You always need biros. So then this is empty. I probably don't need three of these pouches, so we should get rid of this one. Yeah. And then I have my proper collection of Sharpies, so definitely keeping those. Right. So these three are all paper, so obviously I'm going to keep those. But I do have some random things in here. Let's have a look. Little pegs, never going to get rid of those. I have these. I don't think I've ever used these. So is this like a scrapbooking thing? So they're like, they have like the split pin thing on the back. And then they're like blank on the front. I feel like those should go to someone who actually knows what to do with them. Oh, I also have this big bag of these like tags. And I have used some of these, but again, I don't need this many. So maybe I'll take some out Let's see if anyone wants the other ones. Then I have my paper punches. So I have a circle one and two rounded corner ones, but then I also have this. Oh, this one's heavy. So I have this like fancy corner one, which I don't think I've ever used. Let's let someone else have that one. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be everything from in there. <sighs> Are we done yet? My tray just became the floor. Now to sort out this stuff, I'm probably going to need to find a box. So let's do this. Okay, I found a box and I found some more of those little bags, which will be useful for bagging up some of the smaller stuff. So let's get sorting. Maybe I'll do like a tray, like when I have my craft fairs and I do like a one pound tray, I'll do maybe like a 50p tray. Two bags of buttons and two bags of beads. This might take me a bit longer because I want to make sure I'm not getting rid of the really good buttons, you know, the ones I'm actually going to use. Okay, so I actually found more stuff than I thought I was going to, so that's really good. So now I just need to go through and price everything and make sure it is good to go. So I think this video should be going out before the walking market, so you won't get to see uh, exactly what's sold yet. But hopefully I'll make a video of the walking market, hopefully there'll be enough stuff to show you. But it does mean that there is still time for you to give advice, maybe on some price suggestions, or just ideas for projects that I could use, anything that you've seen here for. I hope you enjoyed this video, I know that I like looking at people's spaces and seeing all the random stuff that they have, so I hope you did too. Thanks for watching, bye!